welcome so confessions is a vlog slash blog where i put out episodes my goal is to do them weekly but life be life in i am a business woman and a business operator business owner i don't know what you call yourself do you call yourself a business owner business operator entrepreneur all three i am that and so things just kind of you know I'm just trying to flow. So uh, on today's episode, I'm just here. I'm just here to talk about some small business stuff going on. So um, basically what I do is I um, go back and forth because I have my blog that I type up and then I um, do a blog. So basically, let's see. So my energy has shifted from the last episode. Um, I'm really just trying to um, have faith give it to God. Like I have been really struggling. I don't know if you have, I'm sure some of you have just in the current, uh, climate and the current economy. And what I like to say is, you know, no matter what the economy is doing, my business is flourishing, flourishing, no matter what the economy is doing, my business is growing, no matter what the economy is doing, I am making money. And those are just some of the affirmations that I recommend just, you know, especially, um, because, you know, business has been slow for some people, business has been thrive, you know, people have been thriving in other businesses. And so, you know, just those are some of the affirmations. So I've really been trying to give it to God. Just give it to God. Give it to whoever your higher power is. Know that nothing that is for you will pass you by. Knowing that everything works out as it should. Even though in the, like in currently it may not seem like that. And um, you may not even understand why later on down the line. But everything works out just as it's supposed to. So I had a birthday last month. Um... And that's why I say, like, I felt a shift, you know, but then I've gotten really discouraged and just with, again, just with business being slow. So, hold on. Oh my God, like, my dog is killing me. I'm going to punch her, but I'm not. But, um, so yeah, so that's where I have been. So how are you feeling? How are you feeling? How is business going with you? I am sending you and I am wishing all of the abundance on you praying over your business, just, it's going to flourish. It's going to flourish. It's going to prosper. And I'm sending you good vibes and all of the abundance. So my last vlog, I talked about, um, I talked about wanting to do something new, but was too comfortable. Um, in my current space, uh, what does I say? I'm really changing things, learning more, trying to understand my purpose, my calling, and also knowing that each, of our purposes are different. Um, I really want to encourage people to be their best, try new things, live like they're dying because at the end of the day, we are like, we're not like physically dying, but every day is closer to our death. So we should live like we're dying, right? Like we should only focus on things that if, you know, we found out today that we had a terminal illness, like it wouldn't matter. Like we care about things that don't even matter. And so, you know, I really want to focus on, um, things that really matter and let go of things that don't, you know, um, and stop doing things that, um, you know, we don't want to do. So let's see what else I talk about. I just, I'm just talking about how it's time to get excited about business. Um, wake up excited to run your business. Like the way you wake up on Christmas morning, if you, you know, celebrated Christmas or, you know, anything that you went to sleep, and then you woke up in the morning just excited, like be that excited about running your business, like, or like the tooth fairy or, you know, believe in your business the way kids believe in Santa Claus, believe in your business the way kids believe in the tooth fairy, you know, wake up every morning excited to get to your business, to run your business, to make it thrive, to make it grow. That's just something that I've been really trying to focus on just being excited. And I know it's easier said than done because like I literally like wake up excited and then like something happens or like I might not even get a sale for the day and I'm like what am I doing like what? and then I go back and I say God I know you got a plan please show me your plan for my life right and even like right here on my wall I have this thing that says like when one is truly ready for a thing it puts in it in its appearance so I'm really trying to focus on that right um so yeah, so this is your reminder to get up, make it happen, make life, make life happen, make your business grow, make it do what it is that you want it to do. We're not giving up. We're flourishing. We are 
um, attracting abundance. Our businesses are gonna grow. Um, they're gonna thrive. So, um, so something, yeah, I wanted to change up just things like my YouTube channel, my thumbnails, my Instagram feng shui. Like I look at some people's Instagrams and I'm like, wow. Now, does it make me want to buy something from them? Not necessarily, so I should really think about that. But visually, like, it looks gorgeous, and I love things visually. Um, so, yeah, so I wanted to try to change up my feng shui uh, on my platforms, you know, YouTube, Instagram. And this is for my business, not for my personal, because I don't really post on my personal. I don't post on my personal page, um, because really, like, Insta well, social media kind of just, it kind of overwhelms me um and so I just you know for per on my personal stuff I'm kind of like over social media so um I do like to make these videos and share with you guys just because I do want to encourage you to keep going in your business and know that like not to give up and you know so yeah so even though I don't like social media I do enjoy recording these videos and just sharing my confessions that I go through on my with my small business um, so I've talked to you about how my business that's that magic is available on Amazon recently I was certified to be a black business owner small business owner and my um, a woman business owner I got those sort of certifications from Sam.gov so I'm going to Sam is the um, oh my god award management mm, I forget what the S stands for but um, I'm going to I put the link on to on my um, on my blog and then I also started two sections on my blog just business business problems and solutions as well as my story of how I started selling on Amazon to help you on your small business journey if you do want to start selling on Amazon um, regarding Amazon I created this little insert on my to do with my um, orders and I was a little paranoid about it. Um, basically, you know, you can't, uh, you're not supposed to say like, leave me a five star review. And on my card, it says, you know, if you're enjoying your experience, leave a five star review. So I was a little paranoid, like, ah, you know, is um, Amazon going to kick it back? But they didn't. So amen to that. Thank God. I, something I've been struggling with and I don't know, do you sell or do you have, um, uh, Instagram shop or a Facebook shop something's going on with my Facebook and my Instagram and I cannot set it up and I spent like five hours and I hate wasting time and I spent five hours trying to fix it and I never fix it so I was just like fuck it like I guess I won't have the link for Instagram and Facebook and I just I'm curious as to how much um sales are you know do does that drive sales you know so um yeah, so that's just, you know, I just, I recently talked about writing my own story and how I'm struggling with writing my own story. And I guess this is a part of writing my own story, just sharing these things with you, creating my channel. Um, that's part of my own, you know, that's part of my story. And, you know, just to remind you to start writing your own story. Your story is not going to look like anybody else's, you know, and sometimes we tend to think about like our business, our situation and, um, and see like, oh, no one else did it that way or this person did it that way. It's not your story. It's not going to be like anybody else's story. So start writing your own story. Be the author of your own story. Like I'm really learning what that means. And even though a lot of times I do get discouraged about um, like because I've never seen it done that way and this person did it this way and you know I look at oh like I'm gonna mimic them but it's like no you can't mimic anybody else you write your own story you create your own story and that's gonna be the story like your story is not gonna be like anyone else's so that's just the reminder to write your own story be the author of your own story don't so my phone literally cut off and ran out of memory so <laughs> Anyway, I'm back. But what I was saying was just write your own story. Take life one day at a time. Don't be discouraged. And keep going. Keep pushing. Um, take a break if you need to. Change up your feng shui. But this is just your reminder to keep going and write your own story. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. And um, you can, this goes with the, um, this vlog goes with my blog at alishamichelle.com. Love ya.